Hi, my name is Marnie Clark and this is my sister Lydia Clark and together we own Cheese Cave in Claremont, California. Today we're here to show you how to do a cheese plate for your next dinner party. Well anyway, we get the question a lot, how much cheese do I need for my group of four or however many people you might have. Well what we suggest is to kind of pick a theme. Today we're going to do uh, a California cheese plate. So we're going to start with this cow's milk cheese from Point Reyes. It's called Toma, and it has this really nice kind of smooth, creamy texture. Uh, if you were doing a cheese plate for four people, I would say pick three different cheeses and get about a quarter pound. Most cheese shops have about a quarter pound minimum, so it kind of works out perfect for four. Uh, so Lydia is cutting up the Toma, and what's interesting to kind of note about how to uh, cut and prepare cheese is that you want to keep your rind even so that each person has the same amount of rind on each piece of cheese. So there's our little cow's milk cheese, and then we'll move on to Papato, which is from Golden Valley, and they're up in Central California. And this is a sheep milk cheese with whole peppercorns in there, and it has a much drier texture. So we wanna make sure that we're varying uh, the types of milk and also the texture of the cheese itself. So this one has uh, kind of a dry pecorino-like uh, texture to it, which is a nice addition to something after uh, that really smooth cow's milk cheese. And then the last one is our most local cheese from Drake Family Farms. And this is their Glacier, which is their Bloomy Rind Soft Cheese. It's really fantastic. It's a goat milk cheese and it has, so they come little discs. They, the whole thing weighs less than a quarter pound. And honestly, for a group of four, you probably just need half. So keep the rest, you can eat it for breakfast or something. Uh, so the Glacier has a bloomy rind and a nice kind of tangy, creamy uh, mouthfeel to it. Uh, the last thing that we do with our cheese plates, you also want to give your guests a little bit of a break from just straight cheese all the time. So we always like to put something sweet and something salty. So it kind of uh, starts the, the palate all over again. So we did from uh, our local nonprofit organization, it's called Falling Fruit from Rising Women, and they do seasonal jam. It's always great to pick up something that's in season. And then we did dried figs and Marcona almonds. And there you have a cheese plate for four that'll dazzle all your friends. And that's how to do a cheese plate for your next party. Thanks.